Aquatarium friends. We thought you missed us. Well, you missed Oscar, didn't you? This is Oscar the Otter. I'm Tannis, your tour guide. And we thought, since everybody was missing us so much, we'd create a new video series called Curiosity Clips. That's going to give us a chance to answer all your questions about the aquarium's animals and life along the St. Lawrence River. We have a great question today about otters in the winter. Let's take a listen. How do otters stay warm in the winter? That is a great question. How do otters stay warm in the winter? Do you have a coat? <laughs> Let's go find out. The North American River Otter has some great adaptations that keep them nice and warm during the winter. The most important is that they have two fur coats. One is a set of hairs that are long and waterproof and they're called the guard hairs. The second part of their coat is a fluffy underlayer right close to their skin. Let's do an experiment. Go and find the hairiest human in your house. Found them? Now let's count all of the hairs on their head. One. Two, three. <laughs> I know, I know, that would take way too long. The average human has about one million hairs on their head, but the average river otter has about one million hairs in the size of a loony. That means otters have so much tightly packed fur covering their bodies that the water they're swimming in or the snow they're sliding on will never actually get down through the fur to touch their skin. But that's not all. Otters also cover their fur with oil from glands that they have just under their tails, and that makes their fur coats waterproof. So the water that does get on them beads right off. And that's still not all. All of that dense, oily fur traps something very important. Pockets of air. Air bubbles get stuck inside the river otter's matted fur and helps to trap the warmth from the otter's body. So the next time you're at the aquatarium and you see all those fun bubbles following along behind our otters, you'll know the bubbles are actually the otter's climate control insulation. When the otters swim, the air bubbles get squeezed out by the pressure of being underwater. Did you know that when otters groom themselves, they often blow into their coat to put more air bubbles back into their fur? How cool is that? Can you guess what another adaptation for staying warm is? Well, in the summer months, river otters are nocturnal. That means they tend to sleep during the heat of the day and start to get more active when night comes around and it's a bit cooler. But once the winter weather arrives, river otters switch to staying awake during the daylight hours so the sun can warm them up. Animals that are awake during the day are called diurnal. Okay, how about one more? It's energy! Just like when you go outside, it's important for you to use your energy to keep moving and that helps you keep warm. When otters use their energy to play and to hunt, that keeps them warm too. A bonus is that they often find food while they're out exploring and playing, and that gives them even more energy to stay warm. That works out well, doesn't it? Isn't that great? I didn't know you had all those features. You've got warm fur, waterproofing, you come out in the daylight. Lots of ways that you stay warm in the winter. Well, that's why you love sliding in the snow so much, Oscar. Thank you so much for that great question. If you have a question for our team at the Aquatarium, you can get in touch with us by sending a note or a video to one of our social media channels. We'll do our very best to answer in one of our upcoming curiosity clips. And if you'd like to keep exploring, pop over to the Learning Zone on the Aquatarium's website for lots of fun workshops, great activities, and freebies. You'll love our freebies. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next curiosity clip.